Welcome to Bamford Rose and it's forum chat time. In this week's forum chat, I've picked up a post about front cover oil leak on V8 or V12 engines. Now this is reasonably common and is something that I have discussions about uh, weekly really at point of service. If there is an oil leak, it's all about establishing the leak rate, the volume. Now if it's severe and the mileage is low, you could probably get away with that cleaning at each annual service and monitoring. If the leak rate was moderate to low, but the mileage was high, it was a daily driver, you know, up at 15,000 miles, then maybe that scenario uh, was unmanageable. And when we say unmanageable, this is oil dripping down the front cover, streaking across the bottom of the sump, resting on that cross member, and then streaking back and going on the exhaust system so that when you get out of the car you can really sniff some oil. Now even on quite a severe leak rate then you're not going to drop low on oil level because you know even a litre spread across the underside of the car is pretty horrific and you're never going to leak a litre out really. Now if you did leak out you know even a quarter of a litre now it isn't going to register too much on the dipstick, but that volume of oil is going to be noticeable on the belt. It's probably going to screech a bit and you're certainly going to get a whiff of oil uh, because it's streaked back and gone on the exhaust. And you'll probably notice on your garage floor that there's a couple of spots. Now, whether to fix or defer is uh, a question because of the high cost to fix the problem. Here's some pictures that I found on a forum somewhere where a garage was having a go at this with the engine in place. I always cringe when I see someone fixing a front cover with the engine left in place. You know, here's some pictures from a V8 where they're trying that. Now, two things here. What they must have done to end up in this position is split the lower front subframe from the upper front subframe. And on an older car, whether those fixings will come out cleanly is a question. It's better not to risk that because you can have to re-engineer an insert and repair the fixing if it doesn't extract. So you're better off to leave the subframe complete, which means taking the subframe and engine out of the car, taking the engine out of the frame and fixing the leak with an engine on the stand. The other reason I cringe is if we zoom in on these pictures here, what you can actually see here, look, is little dribbles of coolant that are just waiting if they're disturbed to drop down and they'll most likely drop down and compromise the seal and get in between the front cover when it's being put back on the engine. And then that risks the longevity of the fix. Now it's really difficult if you're in this position here, like this picture now, to actually get the front cover on, you haven't got clear line of sight, you've got to jiggle it around a little bit. So whether it was uh, an oil leaking out of a, a gallery compromising the sealant, whether, whether it was a little bit of coolant that was just waiting to drop down, now it's not a robust practice to fix the problem putting the front cover on with the engine in situ. Not just the risk of the front subframe fixings if you have to separate the lower from the upper part of the subframe, but you've also got to take off a lot of ancillaries, uh, meaning that the time it takes to actually do the job leaving the engine in place isn't far off at all the time it takes to do the job properly, which is taking the frame out of the car with the engine and removing the engine from the frame, putting the engine on a stand and then correcting the problem with the engine nicely able to be worked on on a build stand. Now, whether it's V8 or V12, they're roughly the same. It's about 10, 12 hours removal. I'd say it was 10, 12 hours in store. And with the engine on a stand, you're probably six hours to fix the problem. I think if people are of the mindset to try and sort of bodge the job and do it with the engine in place, then they're probably of the mindset not to look for root cause of the leak and fix that properly. You know, when the front cover is off, it's all about checking whether 
the front cover is true and there's no, no bows or warps in it, which is too difficult for sealant to take up. So you really need to get some straight edges on the front cover and linish or machine any areas which are present from manufacturing and the reason for the leak isn't a sealing failure. So you need to take the front cover off, inspect it well, uh, clean everything up and put it back on without the compromises that you'd have trying to put it back on in the car. So that's why the time is probably about six hours. That means all in all, the job in reality is 30 hours. You know, if, uh, if it's an independent, uh, that's going to be, what, three grand plus VAT. Franchise dealer is probably going to be a bit more. Probably that's going to be about four and a half thousand pounds plus VAT for the labour. Then with fluids, consumables, probably looking at about 500 pounds. You know, the front cover seals are really cheap. So, you know, three and a half thousand pounds plus VAT are independent, maybe five thousand pounds plus VAT for the job at franchise dealer is about the going rate for the job. Now, to answer this question that was posed here, is it reliable? Well, yes, if you've taken good care to look at the front cover and it's straight and you've put the sealant on properly, you haven't had any coolant or oil disrupt uh, that sealing when you put the front cover on, as would probably be the case if you were doing the job with the engine in situ, then that should be fixed for the life of that engine. You know, there are cars out there that don't have front cover oil leaks, V8 or V12. You know, and these cars have got 80, 120,000 miles on and they're absolutely bone dry. So if this problem was addressed, it should be fixed for the lifetime of that engine. And the other question is the price. Well, I've just given you the price ranges from what I think an independent and what I think a dealer would charge if they were doing the job properly. You know, either establishment, if you get a much cheaper price than that, it's because they're cutting corners. That corner is likely to be the thinking that they'll do the job in situ. And that's where quality and longevity of the repair really does come under question. Comment with your stories of front cover repair. Click us a like to this video as ever. It really helps us if you can subscribe to the channel and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next forum channel.